That was unique. I'm Caleb. And I'm Daniel. And this is Wolf Wolfpack Attack. Attack. I have shaved since last you hath seen me. Yep. Which number is this one? This is my morphed on number 20! It's 20. It's taking forever. Way too long. Now, I will be playing PlayStation Vita. Vita. Vita is amazing. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor at all. Okay, so this is a review of Power Rangers RP. And we're enough. This season actually takes place in a different universe from all the other Power Rangers seasons, which I just find to be very bizarre. <coughs> so this one takes place in like a post-apocalyptic city called Corinth, where this evil virus named um, Vengex has pretty much completely wiped out all of humanity. Everyone's dead, and like, there's just a small city called Corinth where just like a couple people survive. And so, yeah, and in the city we have our Power Rangers RPM. And we have Scott, who is the Red Ranger, and he wants to impress his dad because his dad's like the colonel that um, protects the army around the city. Because Corinth is like, it's like this very protected city made up of like all these walls and it's got like clean oxygen because everywhere else it's like a desert wasteland. So, um, yeah, he just wants to make his dad proud of him and his, yeah, I'm, okay, right there I'm going to stop myself. I'm, I'm about to spoil so much of this show so if you have not seen Power Rangers RPM, what's the deal? Just go on and watch it. It's on Netflix right now. If you don't have Netflix, find some other way to watch it. This is a great season. So, Not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. So if you haven't seen Power Rangers RPM, don't watch Pets Split, but I highly recommend it. This season is crazy amazing. Okay, so you've seen Power Rangers RPM right now? Good. Okay. So, um, oh yeah, by the way, have I finished it yet? By the time you finished RPM? I haven't? Okay, of course I haven't. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Scott's brother actually gets killed in a plane crash and pretty much like his dad's just like well there goes my only son he's like dad I still he says oh man my only son I wouldn't miss him dad so yeah um he's he's a pretty cool red ranger like he has a lot of he has a lot of character to him he has like a lot he has a goal that he wants to achieve I just think he does like a very well red ranger so then we have Flint, who is the Blue Ranger. This dude, like, he cracked me up. He's a very goofy guy. And he always speaks in, like, a Scottish accent. He just, he's a mechanic. He learned everything he knows from his dad. And he's like, Dad, I want to be a, I want to be a hero like the comic books. And he's like, maybe one day, son. I swear, this dude's backstory cracked me up. Like, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube or something. Or I guess if you've seen it, you already have seen it. But, uh, this dude's backstory just cracked me up. I loved watching it. But, yeah, he's a, he's a very good Red Ranger. Or, he's a very good Blue Ranger. And, yeah, I mean, I think he did very good for the character he is. So then we have Summer, who's the Yellow Ranger. And we actually see that she was like this spoiled rich girl that got everything she wanted. And she was going to be married to this super rich dude and her family was going to get some money and their family was going to get some money. It was going to be great for them. But it seems like on the way to the wedding or something, like her butler gets like killed or something. I, I'm sorry if I messed this up or something. It's been a while. But yeah, like it seems like he gets killed or something and she like finds out she's in like the center of the universe. And that's what makes her go become... The Yellow Ranger. I just found that she was a pretty cool character just because, like, you see how much she progressed in that fla from that flashback, and she was, she was a pretty good character. Then we got Ziggy, who's the Green Ranger, 
And man, is he goofy! Oh, yuck, get it? Cause it's Disney! And, yeah, like, this dude, he cracked me up, like, literally, it's like, he questions so much, like, he's literally like, how come every time we morph, there's a giant explosion behind us? And they're like, oh, well, in the morphing girl, when you, tra when you transform into rangers, a tiny burst of energy comes out as an explosion in the real world, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's really weird. So, yeah, Ziggy, he cracks me up, like, he's just this weird, goofy guy who just questions everything. He just loves being a ranger and stuff. And I found Ziggy very, very entertaining. He's very funny. So, yeah, and then we have Dylan, who is the Black Ranger, and he's the main focus of this season. Which I thought was very cool to have a Black Ranger being the main focus, considering we never had that. It's mostly Red Rangers, but this one had a Black Ranger. So, like, he, he is definitely the most complex character because at the beginning you see him in the wasteland all by himself. He's like a lone wolf type guy who doesn't really want to join the rangers in the beginning. And as Stroke keeps going, we learn more about his past. He's like part machine and like, um, Vengex kind of like helped contribute to his creation, kind of. He's a person, but it's, I think he was like implanted with mechanical stuff in like his brain. Which is really cool because certain times he actually gets Vengex like in him. And Vengex is like a virus, which is pretty cool because that was like a new type of villain for Power Rangers. He eventually becomes like full on monster, but it was pretty cool to have just like this voice of like this virus that was controlling everything from the back. It was a very different Power Rangers villain. So, um, yeah, and eventually we meet their um, mentor, Dr. K, and she's just like this girl, she was like raised in like a government facility and they all the time were just like asking her questions because she's like a really smart person. She created like the Zords and everything and eventually when she escaped she's actually the one who created Vengex and so she's putting all this together because I think she helped build Corinth because she wants to help fix what she created which is very cool and so yeah like she just, she helps him. She has no respect for Ziggy, which I think is hilarious. And, um, like, she actually ends up gaining respect for the others except him. And she was a pretty cool mentor. Then, um, we have our other rangers, the Gold and Silver Rangers, Jim and Jimma. And oh my gosh, if you thought Ziggy was very goofy, these guys are very dorky because they're literally, like... Oh, yuck, guys, we're going to go fight the bad guys. And it's like, they just, they act so weird. And it's like, their personality doesn't fit this season, like, at all. Because this is like a super serious season of Power Rangers. And they just, they don't fit it whatsoever. There's like, G Wilkers. <laughs> or Jim Jimo. And they're like, these twins, they also grew up with Dr. K in the government facility. Where they were like, trained and stuff. She ends up breaking them out, I think, and they end up becoming the Gold and Silver Rangers. And, like, they're not bad. They just don't fit this type of season. It's like, I don't know, in my opinion, they don't. So, yeah, and eventually we meet Tenea 7, I think. And, um, we actually find out that she's the sister of Dylan, the Black Ranger. And, um, he actually, he tries to, like, rescue her, and it's kind of like in Power Rangers in Space with Andros and Crone, in a way. I mean, they do it a different way, but that's what it is like. So, I mean, yeah, that's about all I have to say for the season. This is actually the final season done by Disney, in which they did, like, a weird, like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers remastered, which I never watched, but whatever. And then the Savant actually got it back and they made Power Rangers Samurai and that'll be the and I'll talk more about that in the next review. So I mean, yeah, if you have seen Power Rangers RPM and you want to talk about it, tell me in the comments. I'm Daniel. I'm Caleb. And this, this is Wolfpack, Wolfpack Attack. Rear. And if you would like to see us Go behind the Chinese restaurant at the dumpster and watch our videos. <laughs> yep. 
RPM! Get in gear! TV remote. Yeah.